Hurdle wants it instead off the bench. It's Scott Harrington just missing. Out front for Meyer. It pinballs around. And scores! The proud native in his first NHL game at home ties it. 1 1. Hurdle celebrating this power play goal for the Sharks. A little redirect in front. He's stick on this opening night. Tickly flashing out those pads. Still hungry, shorthanded. Sabanajan scores. Mika Sabanajan, a shorthanded goal, and the Rangers have the first goal of this one in their first of the season. Second period, it's the long change. Tampa Bay wants to change on the power play. Look at the crowd over at the bench. This puck. I, I will bet my house on that. Handler Stevenson moves in. Drops one back. Stone shoots. Score! 24.9 seconds on the clock as Mark Stone rifles a wrister to give Vegas the lead. Wow, a stunned building here in Los Angeles. The Kings seem to have everything under control. I mean, it was almost like they were just waiting for this to get to overtime. Jersey, the stretch pass. It doesn't connect in the neutral zone. And then Zaka, Krejci, Pasternak, he's in. David Pasternak, save rebound, they score! David Krejci from David Pasternak. 4-2 Boston. The Washington Capitals had a chance as they entered the zone. Didn't connect execution-wise. And the Boston Bruins come roaring down the other way. And Krejci's had a big night on opening night here in his return back to the National Hockey League. Forward does Got knocked down by Anderson. And back the other way comes Suzuki. It's a 2 one, one with Caulfield. And Caulfield in. Suzuki scores! 22's got two, and what a shot! This game is all 26 career games against Montreal, but it's Suzuki with Caulfield! Suzuki! Shot blocked in front by Muzzin gave it away. And it scores! Well, that look says it all, doesn't it? This line has been all over the puck all night. Another odd man rush. Suzuki gets the puck back, just can't quite get it up and over the net. But Josh Anderson is... The 2022 Stanley Cup team, please make your way to the banner for the unveiling of the 2022 Stanley Cup Championship banner. All right, fans, get on your feet. It's time to raise the championship banner to the Raptors. Clear the zone and they will quickly regroup at center. Klingberg across the line for Strom. Here's Vetrano again. He scores! There is the quick trigger finger of Frank Vetrano. Well, he can shoot the puck, Candy. And it pays an immediate dividend. And this is a snipe. Look where that puck goes. Right at the elbow of the crossbar and goalpost. Tavish. Klingberg and Terry across the top. 
Klingberg from the dot. Patient. Back to Terry. One-timer from Zegers. He scores! That was a bullet. The Ducks have tied the game. Watch where this pass goes for Zegers. He's just hanging out at the top of the circle. Klingberg's going to lay it right in there. Zegers moves down to the dot and just hammers it. Talked about the look and the intent to find the one-timer this season on the power play. Of Page. Ducks get a quick change as Strom goes off. Here's a breakaway pass. Larson off the bench. And a save made by Gibson. He wants to quickly move it ahead to Terry. Terry one-on-one. -on -one. He's inside on Burakovsky. Backhand score! Troy Terry with the overtime game winner. He scored 51 seconds into regulation. He wins in 55 seconds into overtime. How about the play by John Gibson? Recognize Win the face off. Tyson Berry to Nugent Hopkins. Pass down low. Here's a shot from the From Connor McDavid. The Edmonton Oilers using that power play prowess are back within one. Boy, did they ever snap this puck around. So disciplined against the Edmonton Oilers. They've been great the Vancouver Canucks. They haven't taken 10 players. Rob Kuzmanko. Here's McDavid. Starts off with a block, he takes it high, and then it gets Quinn Hughes trying desperately to stop Evander Kane. A pass back to Connor McDavid. And there you have it, a hat trick for the Oilers captain. Well, it's not easy to do surprise Connor McDavid. I think he was surprised at that backhand pass in tight by Evander Kane. He thought it was over, but the quick hands, he finishes it off with a hat trick, and the hats come onto the ice. Mercer, here come the Devils with numbers. Shot in and score! Goal number one, and look who gets it. The 20 year old Alexander Holtz, his first NHL goal, gives the Devils a 1 0 lead. But this play's made by Jesper Brad. Look at the hands in the middle of the ice. That's a sweet dish over Justin Braun's stick. And this from a relatively sharp angle goes between the glove and body of Carter Hart. Little dish there. Nice. Sabres three wide through the middle. Paterka sends it over back to Paterka scores. First NHL goal. JJ Paterka ties it for the Sabres. The neutral zone, one battle along the wall right there. Cousins strong on the puck. Puck gets poked to the middle of the ice. Anderson wants to close that off. Try to go back to Boldy. Boldy on the backhand scores! from Boldy here. Steele picks this one up in the slot and he actually looks for Boldy. Well, then Matt Dumba drops it back for Boldy. Boldy waiting, waiting, and scores! What a play by Matt Boldy! Boldy's using Shesterkin's athleticism against him. What a play by Matt Dumba. He draws two defenders. That creates Brody plays it before and reaches the goal line. Taco works out from behind the net. Still with the puck, escapes Eric Sinek and scores. And the Rangers once again have a quick answer for a Minnesota goal as Capo Caco beats Marc Andre Fleury. It's 6 2 New York. To the East final, they know how to bounce back the very next shift again. A little too easy on the Rangers. Away with a stick, it's still loose. Alexander Carey can't handle it. And Mason Marshman working this and out. He's in alone. Marshman takes the shot. He scores. March 
Judgment, the new acquisition. Free agent signing for Dallas in the offseason. That's his first goal as a star, and it's one to nothing. That signing pays off right away. What a toe drag early on. Yossi freezes Saros, goes over the blocker, and what a start here for Marchment with a new team. Nothing settles you down more than scoring that. That angle showed it perfectly how Lindholm recognized that Huberto had nothing, and so he moved just a little bit closer and opened up that lane. Here's McKinnon with a step. McKinnon scores! Big burst of speed off the wing, and McKinnon gets the second Colorado goal. Moments after Calgary made it 5-1. Watch this. Now, take a look how he opens the blade right at the very end. He gets in about... In pursuit there is Danforth. Foot takes a hit there from Jetter. Danforth comes up with a puck at the side of the net. Scores! Welcome, Johnny Goodrow! one nothing. There you have it! The Jackets doggedly go after that puck. Justin Danforth... Straight ahead players and Johnny Goodrow, he can read off these guys, and that's just what he does. There's an issue. Soderblom, hold it back. Sunquist. Behind the net, the Rasmussen. The big line for Detroit. Rapper on try. They score! Bingo. Bingo. Soderblom! His first National Hockey League goal, the first goal of the season for Detroit. And the excited mom and dad. What a shift. Another one. Here he comes, the big guy. Holy mackerel, look at that smile. Wow. And again, the puck was turned over by Jack Guy right in front of the Montreal bench. And from there, Detroit went on the offense with a, a lead pass. I think it was to Soderblom, and that went over top of the net. Nazem Kadri. Through the neutral zone, gaining speed. He's got an open lane. Condry moving in. He scores! And there is Nazem Condry's first goal in a Calgary Flames uniform, giving his team a two goal lead. And he's got a pretty good burst of speed here. He's got some time to look up. It's Kulak that's in position. Looks like he's solid in that position. And now he had that opportunity to pass through the crease. Side of the net, they score! And the Kings cash in on the power play. It is Kevin Fiala. His first is an L.A. King. 5-3. Now the Kings did not have to use the pass through the middle by Middleton. Down low. It, it took a while to get there, didn't it? Nice feed. Paterka holds it inside. Thompson to his back and forth. Oh my goodness! Spencer Knight! Knight's out over at that far post with that save as he robs the Sabres on what looked to be a for sure game time goal from Skinner. Yeah, it did. And Skinner's still looking up at the board wondering. But Paterka, nice little dish right there to Thompson. Thompson back to him. But look at the stretch that Knight gets. He gets from that right side back to the left. He's got the skate there, he's got the pad there, and the glove. And he's able to make the save. And